course, turn that in Tobago, there is moderate concentration of the Saharan dust. And this will likely, obviously, lead to those issues with uh, breathing ailments, as well as for those with asthma and pollen allergies. But there is a positive to the Saharan dust. It tends to also bring a welcome nutrients to the Amazon rainforest. But unfortunately, for those of you around at Trinidad and Tobago, there will still be that hazy sunshine greeting you throughout your Tuesday. There is a potential for a slight shower, especially towards the southern areas of uh, Tobago, but there's a low chance of that, less than 30%. And that too will accompany uh, those uh, hazy spells of sunshine through Trinidad. So if you are heading out, uh, definitely take the necessary precautions. If you do happen to have asthma or pollen allergies, there will be a few brief showers around, as I said, most of those showers coming through less than half an hour or so. So there should be a few and far between as you go through your Tuesday morning and afternoon. Now, what does this mean for temperatures? We're looking still at a comfortable 31 degrees Celsius for the most part. And for those heading offshore, there will be a breeze around uh, to 20 knots coming from the east, which means you could see occasionally choppy seas but becoming rough at times at 2.5 meters offshore. And this will continue through Wednesday for the most part. So definitely be mindful about that along the Atlantic shoreline. Take necessary precautions if you are swimming that way. Wednesday and Thursday, there's a bit of moisture around, but the Saharan dust will still be there in a moderate to slight concentrations. So despite a few showers coming through on Thursday and Friday, it will still turn hazy at times in between those showers. So that's your weather, and that's it from me.